Welcome to round two, ESDA Chang. We start off here right across the initiation line going into our outer zone one. That green zone right there, red zones on the track are rumbles that are not allowed as well as uh, gonna be considered tire drops out there. We have our inner clip one coming around that first corner. Setting you up for our outer zone two. Judges will be taking a close look here at all these zones markings as well as the, uh, the transition into outer zone three. As we come across outer zone three, we're going to be wanting to watch for the lead driver's uh, decel or braking to adjust angle here into the inner clip two. When we come across into our outer zone four, you can see rumbles are allowed in this zone. And we're going to have the same kind of angle adjustment here coming around into our inner clip three. Lining up, keeping those wheels nice and tidy, coming across and then out to our outer zone five. This will be right before our first zone that has a D cell zone right before it, which is our final zone on the wall here. You can see the D cell zone highlighted there in red. And we're gonna want to fill out fully all the way and wall ride as close to that wall. Judges will be taking close consideration for the proximity, speed and angle coming through this final section of the track. And that'll wrap it up there. I wish you all the best of luck out there on the track. Here we have our line map from the aerial shot going over every single one of those zones. And I will see you out there on the track. And of course, a huge shout out and thank you to our drone operator, Spawns FPV, rocking out some of these amazing shots we see here tonight. Of course, ESDA for putting out this track to the public for everybody to enjoy. And of course, Boson for the event partnership. Don't forget G Fuel as well, code COSMOSIGN for 20%. Facing off against Daniel Camacho. Uh, let's see it. Nice solid initiations there. Daniel Camacho pushing up on and Randy's door. Getting very close, maybe a little too close for comfort there for Daniel Camacho as he backs off a little bit, coming into this final zone as we're pushing around and out the other side. Daniel Camacho in the lead position now. Randy Noah in that chase. zones daniel camacho throwing some angle around here into our outer zone five into that d cell and onto that wall These guys pushing their way through nice neat and tidy and around the outside they go let's see it and these guys are duking it out in the judging quarters here looks like we got one going and daniel camacho on that that but that pushes randy noah onto the next round all right we got Michael D facing off against Ed Edwards. Let's see those lights. Michael D in that D7 Corvette. Ed Edwards rocking that BDC F22 Eurofighter. Nice solid line there by Michael D coming across those first three zones. Ed Edwards doing a great job calculating that angle and keeping his distance. Nice deep. D cell coming around. And out the other side they go. Up next, we got Ed Edwards in the lead position. Michael V in the chase. Let's see him. I got lights. Ed Edwards pushing through Michael V. Had to slow up a little bit there on that start. Going a little bit 
wide there by Ed Edwards. Michael V pushing up, keeping the pressure on. As these guys push into our last zone. Oh, and a little bit of contacts there in the chase position by Michael V. And Ed Edwards giving it a final tap on the way out. And uh, that is going off to Ed Edwards for that battle. AOM Gambit in the lead position. Murph Terps in the chase. Let's see it. Solid, solid initiation across there with a full fill out on those back-to-back -back outer zones. Coming across our inner clip and into that final wide zone. Oh, with a little bit of contact there from Murph Terps, pushing Gambit off the track there a little bit as we come across that final zone. These guys duking it out out there. We got Murph Terps in the lead now. And Gambit in the chase. There they go. Perfect. coming out of the gate flying. Gambit pushing to hold that angle as well as keeping that proximity down to a minimum as we come across our second air clip. These guys fill it out in full entirety onto those rumbles for that outer zone. As we come into our second to last outer zone into the D cell. Let's see how they fare on the wall. Nice cinch up there by Gambit, keeping a safe distance and pushing all the way through around that wall. Two for Gambit and three, making that a full sweep for Gambit. Moving on to the next round. Let's go. Media Alex in the lead position here. TMI Mark in the chase. Huge angle by Alex. Coming around that first and second, third zones. Coming in to our second inner clip. These guys pushing hard. Holy DMI Mark putting the pressure on his door. Coming around some of these angles here into that outer zone five. Let's see how they fare on this D cell into the wall and across. What a nice run there. Alex pulling a little bit outside there, but definitely saved it. We got DMI Mark now in the lead position. And EDF Alex in the chase. There's the lights. Let's go. They split across these guys. Pushing through those zones. Mark going a little bit wide on that outer zone. Got a little bit of stuff up there by Alex in the chase position. Trying to recover from it and finish out his run here. DMI Mark back on his line and slowing down off into the outer zone six. Look at that. for their second run there. All right, one OMT, two going chase for Mark, and Mark passes on to the next round. He had that big stuff up by Alex in the chase position, and unfortunately, that was enough to uh, knock him from there. So DMI moves on to the next round. Zach Macy, Ian Hayes. This guy's battling out. We're that top position. Let's see it. Nice, solid initiation by Zach Macy coming across that line and through those zones. Ian Hayes right on his door coming through. Definitely a little bit hesitant on that outer zone five where we've seen so many get those contacts or make their way out. But look at this coming around. Zach Macy filling out that zone and Ian Hayes not far behind. Ian Hayes in that lead position. Zach Macy in the chase. Let's see it. Got plenty of time for that side-by-side -side replay. We're focused on getting these guys running their battles here as they push on through the night. Nice, solid line by Ian Hayes. Coming through Zach Macy with a little bit of an adjustment there and a light luck tap on that friender. Here we go, coming around into that outer zone five. Here we are on that D-cell zone, pushing through. Oh, but we got the little bit of a wall hit there by Ian Hayes and cracks it back through and across the line. There we go. Two going Zach Macy on that. And three for a full sweep. We got Will Hurst in the lead position. AOM Gambit in the chase. Uh, let's go. Nice 
Nice initiation across the line there by Will Hurst. AOM Gambit, not to be forgotten, pushing pressure on Will Hurst coming around that inner clip as they go very wide across that rumble. Both of them matching that line there. A little wild to put into the D cell here. Will Hurst pushing through and Gambit, same thing, holding a nice solid proximity and on the way out. Gambit in the lead position now, gone in the chase. Will Hurst. Let's see. Nice, a solid transition there by Gambit. Gone with a little bit of a correction there, trying to cinch up his proximity to Gambit, coming around into our D-cell zone. These guys just pushing on one another through that final zone and across the line. Two going Gambit, three going Gambit, and Gambit moves on to the next round. Well, let's see those lights. Let's go. Nice solid initiation by DMI Mark going a little tight on the inner clip. Joseph right behind him, putting that pressure on as they come across the rumble zone into our outer zone five, right on the line there, into the D-cell. Cinching up that proximity in that chase driver and across the line they go. I need Joseph in that lead position and DMI mark in the chase. Here they go. A little bit of a fake out there before DMI mark has got a little bit of ground to make up here as he is trying to keep that that chase position cross that inner clip into our outer zone five and on to that d-cell a solid fill out there by joseph and across the line they go two going for joseph there and a third for a full sweep as he moves on to our next round and we got lights let's send them this is for the third place finisher. And on to our top battle after this. Zach Macy throwing some angle through there. A legacy Kogan right on his door. Little taps here and there by Kogan Casey coming around in that fourth outer zone. Into the fifth, onto our D cell and into this wall that has taken so many of these drivers. Guys, no problem whatsoever, and a solid exit through there. Hop on over there. We'll watch those double replays. Legacy Kogan in the lead. Zach Macy in the chase. Matching up that angle right off the bat. Zach Macy with some aggression right off that initiation line. A Legacy Kogan pushing through. Zach Macy giving some taps on the door. Through that outer zone five into our D cell. And onto the wall here as Zach Macy cutting it up a little bit short, but filling it out fully and across the line. One going Kogan. Two Kogan. And three. Putting them in that third place finisher. Good runs by you guys. Here they are. AOM Gambit. Malrip Pure Wall. I'd send them. Battle for that top podium finish here. AOM hitting it right off the bat there. Pure Wall getting right on his door off of that line. Here we go around those three zones, fourth zone, and into our second inner clip. Gambit throwing some angle there. Pure Wall with a little bit of a correction there, kind of pushing him around, but into our D cell and onto this wall here. May I had a little bit of a late D cell there by Bell Roop, but across the line they go. We'll see how this uh, shakes out for them with Pure Wall in the lead position. Bell Root in the lead position. Hey, let him get it into chase. That's what it's come down to. Here we go. Right across that line, Bell Root throwing that angle. Gambit going wide. That is going to loosen some distance on his proximity here for his chase run. Valroof just has to hold it together here with a contact by Gambit coming around the corner. 
and into that D cell zone, Balgaru just trying to finish out the run. And Gambit definitely not happy about what happened there as we push across. The judges are going to have to take a close look at that contact, determine some fault there, and uh, got some, uh, some feelings happening out there, that's for sure. So we'll get our side by side up here. Let's take a look at those side by side. There it is, all going over to Belroop Pure Wall for the win there. Appreciate everybody swinging in here tonight. Some awesome work by our drone operator here, Spawns FPV. Appreciate all the volunteers here making CSG happen. And next round three is going to be Road Atlanta. We'll have those servers up for you guys to get your practice in. And don't forget, sign up week before on that Monday, 10 p.m. Central Standard Time.